Hello everyone. Today we are gonna do a reading passage. Its title is The Dangers of Ecstasy. It's a small passage as it contains only nine questions. So today I'm gonna tell you that how all the answers came of this passage and even the MCQs in which most of the students have doubts. I'll explain to you how each answer of each MCQ came. So uh, before starting, I want to tell you that if you haven't watched the videos of the reading passages, Destinations for International English Students and Regional Students Survey. So go check out my previous videos because I think you would found it re you will find it really useful so let's just start this passage so the first four questions these are the multiple choice questions the MCQs and this first one has been done for you as an example okay so now let's move to the first question It is not known whether, so we have the first option, drugs change the way the body reacts. The British Medical Journal has reported seven deaths caused by XTC. XTC alone was responsible for the 14 deaths in Britain. And last option is XTC causes changes to the body. So our answer is C. XTC alone was responsible for 14 deaths in Britain. But before uh, telling you how this answer came, I want to tell you how the other answers cannot come of this first questions. So let's just begin with the first option and that is drugs change the way the body reacts. So let's see where it is written in the passage. It's in the first paragraph only. Here it is. They are saying that while it is true that all drugs by their very nature change the way in which the body reacts to its environment. So they are saying that it is certain, it is true that all drugs, they change the way in which the body reacts. So in the question, they are stating that it is not known, but it is known that drugs change the way the body reacts so that is why our first option cannot come as the answer now let's see the second option the british medical journal has reported seven deaths caused by xtc so seven deaths are have been caused by xtc the british medical journal tells this it reports this it is also in the first paragraph in the second line in 1992, the British Medical Journal claimed that at least seven deaths and many severe adverse reactions have followed its use as a dance drug. It's, it is referred to the illegal drug named XTC, MDMA. Okay, so when XTC was used as a dance drug, at least seven deaths were caused and many other severe adverse reaction as stated as claimed by the British Medical Journal. So it, they are saying that it is not known whether the British Medical Journal has reported seven deaths caused by XTC, but in 1992, we know that the British Medical Journal claimed, so it is known that the British Medical Journal claimed that seven deaths were caused by XTC when it was used as a dance drug. So that is why B option cannot come as the answer. Now let's see the last option D, XTC causes changes to the body. So they are saying that it is not known whether XTC changes, uh, sorry, whether XTC causes changes to the body. Okay, so it is also written in the first paragraph in the last lines, I think. What is certain? So it is certain, which means it is known that the drug the drug they are using which means they are talking about the XTC that XTC causes distinct changes to the body so it is clear it is known that the XTC drug causes distinct changes to the body so that is why the D option cannot come so now let's see where it is written that it is not known, it is not clear that XTC alone was responsible for the 14 deaths in Britain.
okay so it's also in the first paragraph in the fourth line they are stating that 14 deaths have so far been attributed to the drug so they are saying the drug which means they are talking about ecstasy 14 deaths have been so far attributed to ecstasy in britain although it is possible that other drugs contributed to some of those deaths those deaths means those 14 deaths that's that they were talking about so as you know british medical journal claimed that at least seven deaths were caused by ecstasy so it was like one journal uh, it may be possible that other journals also reported some of the deaths which were caused by ecstasy so in britain a total of 14 deaths were attributed to ecstasy which means that uh, it is uh, stated that XTC caused 14 deaths in Britain. But they are also saying along with it that although it is possible that other drugs contributed to some of those deaths, they are saying that uh, those 14 deaths, it is not sure, it is not certain, it is not known totally that all of those 14 deaths were caused by XTC. No, it is not certain. It may be possible that some of those deaths may be caused by some other drugs. So this is the thing uh, that that causes option C to be our answer because in uh, option C it is written that it is not known whether XTC alone was responsible for the 14 deaths in Britain. So it may be possible that some other drugs also caused some of those deaths. So okay now let's move on to the second question it is the use of xtc is usually fatal which means that it often leads to fatal consequences so let's see why this a option has not come as the answer because in the last lines of the first paragraph only, they were saying that what is certain is that the drug causes distinct changes to the body, which unless understood may le lead to fatal complications in certain circumstances. So they are saying if the changes that are caused in the body due to the XTC drug, if that those changes are not understood only then. It may lead to fatal complications only in certain circumstances so there are so much conditions you know that uh, it uh, for that it would lead to the fatal complications which means it not in all cases or we can say it not uh, often you know it not frequently leads to fatal complications in certain situations only sometimes only you could say that it leads to fatal complications that is why uh, the first option cannot come because there uh, they have written this word usually but it is not true it usually is not fatal it sometimes is fatal okay so now let's see why b option is not our answer the use of xtc is less dangerous than the authorities believe so they are saying that uh, the use of ecstasy is not as dangerous as the authorities believe now let's see where it is written um, here see it is still unclear whether the casual use of ecstasy is as dangerous as authorities believe. So they do not know that whether the use of ecstasy is as dangerous as the authorities believe or it is more dangerous or it is less dangerous. So it is unclear. They do not know for sure. So but here. Uh, in the question in the option they have written that the use of XTC is less dangerous so it means that they are stating that the use is less dangerous than the authorities believe but in the passage they are writing that uh, they do not know for sure that it is as dangerous as the authorities believe or not so they cannot say for certain that it is less dangerous that is why the B option cannot come as the answer okay now let's see uh, the C option. The use of ecstasy is harmless when used 
as a dance drug. It is totally wrong because uh, we read in the first paragraph that when it was used as a dance drug, it caused at least seven deaths and many severe adverse reactions. So it is not harmless if it is used as a dance drug. It is it causes so much harm to the body. Okay, so that is why the C option cannot come and the answer will come D option and that is none of the above. Now let's moving on towards the third question. Deaths from XTC are sometimes caused by people with pre-existing conditions. Okay. In the second paragraph, in the last lines, they were talking about uh, it seems that the normal healthy people are unlikely to die as a result of taking MDMA. So normal healthy people are not going to die uh, if they you know take that drug mdma or you could say xtc but people with pre-existing conditions such as weak heart or asthma may react in extreme ways and are well advised not to take it but people who have some pre-existing conditions like weak heart or asthma when they will take the drug it will you know react in extreme ways but do those extreme ways include death they have not written like that that people with pre-existing conditions when they will take the drug that they might die they are not saying that they are just saying that it would react in extreme ways and they are not even saying that those extreme ways include death so definitely this option cannot come because deaths in the question, they are talking about deaths. They are not talking about extreme reactions. Deaths from XTC are sometimes caused by people with pre-existing conditions. They did not state that. They just stated that that people with pre-existing conditions, when they intake, uh, when they take, when they use that drug XTC, you could say, uh, it reacts in extreme conditions. So A option cannot come. And the second option, let's see what it is. Too much fluid in the body so they are saying when there's excessive fluid in the body then uh, you know that's occur due to xtc let's see why this is not the case because in the second paragraph only in the very first line they are talking that in almost all cases of MDMA related deaths in Britain. So now they are talking about the XTC related deaths in Britain. Overheating of the body and inadequate replacement of fluids have been noted as the primary causes of the death. So what is the cause of the death? When the fluids are not replaced adequately. When the fluids are not replaced sufficiently. But here they are saying that the when the fluid is so much in the body, then the deaths are caused. So it is not about the quantity of the fluid in the body. It is about the sufficient replacement of the fluid in the body. So as these options do not match with each other the b option cannot uh, come as the answer and it is clear in front of your eyes that why now c option is the answer because they are clearly stating that overheating of the body here they are saying that overheating of the body you know it is the primary cause of death so that is how the c option came as the answer and d option cannot come because a and b options cannot come so d option contains all of the a b c options so then d option cannot come okay so now let's move towards the fourth question i hope that you are understanding all the mcqs and how it is important if you think that one option can be the answer, it is really important to make sure that the other options are not the answers. So this is the, uh, you know, effective way to solve the multiple choice questions and you should always do this. Okay, so now let's, uh, what is the fourth question? MDMA studies conducted on animals show damage to the kidneys. Let's see the third paragraph of the passage. 
not all physical problems associated with the drug are immediate okay okay um, we could read from here medium term effects include the possibility of contracting so when the ecstasy drug is used its medium term effects include the possibility of contracting the liver disease hepatitis or risking the damage to the kidney so kidneys might be damaged however animal studies show no such damage so in the question they were talking about the uh, mdma studies conducted on animals when those drug was used on animals that first option was that their the kidneys of the animals show damage but they are saying that when the animal studies uh, you know uh, when the studies are conducted on animals then they show no such damage why they have used the word such because they are referring to a damage that they have previously talked about and what damage was that risking damage to the kidneys so when the studies are conducted on animals they show no such kidney damage that is why the a option cannot come as the answer now let's see um, why B option is the answer. MDMA studies conducted on animals cannot provide absolute proof of the effect of the drug on humans. So whenever they are, you know, studying the uh, use of drug on animals, it cannot provide absolute proof that what would be the effects of the drug uh, if it would be uh, used by the humans. So now let's see. Um, okay, uh, the next phrase only, they are writing in brackets. Although it is readily admitted by researchers that animal studies are far from conclusive, that when they are studying the use of drug on animals, uh, they cannot conclude that what would be the effects of the drug on humans. So the animal studies are far from conclusive since humans react in different ways than rats and monkeys due to the drug. So why uh, it cannot be concluded that what would, be, what would be the effects of the drug on humans? Because animals react in different ways to the drug while humans react in a different way to the drug. So that is why they cannot conclude. So that is how the B option came as the answer. And if you are gonna see the C option that the studies conducted on animals are cruel and have been discontinued. They have not talked about that that in the whole passage that whether the uh, you know studies on animals are cruel or whether they have been discontinued or whether they have been still used okay so they have not talked about that so this option is not given so that uh, that is why c option cannot come as the answer and now let's see the d option why is it not the option answer mdma studies conducted on animals have yet to indicate a long-term brain damage so when the studies were conducted on animals the animals brain they were damaged you know okay so in the option they are saying that they have yet to indicate that means in future they would indicate a long-term brain damage but in the passage uh, let's see the next paragraph evidence that MDMA causes long-term cellular damage to the brain has until recently been based on experiments with animals alone so which means when they conducted the studies on animals their brain showed long-term cellular damage which means that it has already been shown it has already been indicated that uh, there is long-term brain damage so it is not yet to prove that there would be long-term brain damage uh, of the animals so that is why due to the tense the d option cannot come so the first four questions that were mcqs i have explained to you that how all the answers came now let's move on to the next questions five to nine so five to nine questions are 
like we have to answer in no more than three words so let's see um, fifth question permanent damage to the body may result if XTC is taken simultaneously with alcohol so it is clearly on the screen in the first line that evidence to date suggests that alcohol and XTC taken at the same time may result in lasting harm to bodily organs so instead of at the same time they are using this word simultaneously and whenever XTC is taken at the same time or simultaneously with alcohol then there is permanent damage to the body for permanent they are using this word lasting for damage they are using this word harm to the body to bodily organs so that is how alcohol came as the answer now sixth question cellular damage to the brain is detected by measuring the amount of uh, you could also write serotonin or you could write the chemical serotonin that by measuring the amount of the chemical serotonin cellular damage to the brain is detected so the next paragraph this is the location of the sixth question answer uh, we were we have read this line that cellular damage to the brain has until recently been based on experiments with animals alone the most common method of detection so how do they detect that uh, the cellular damage to the brain the long-term cellular damage to the brain how do they detect it so the most common method of detection is to cut out a section of the brain and measure the level of the chemical serotonin so for the word level they have used this word amount so measuring the level or you could even say measuring the amount of the chemical serotonin you could write or simply you could write serotonin as the answer now the seventh question the serotonin level of XTC users takes a long time to return to normal that the serotonin level of uh, of those people who use XTC it takes long time to return to normal the last line of this paragraph in most cases the serotonin level returns to normal albeit after a long time albeit it means though you could even say though instead of albeit so it uh, you know returns to normal but usually after taking a long time so it returns after a long time what returns the serotonin level so you may note that here it is written returns to normal why it is written because the serotonin level it is used uh, it is a singular it is singular so that is why they are using s with return it returns to normal but here in the answer it is return to normal so sorry you may note down that if you would write returns the answer would go wrong you need to write return not returns why is it so because here it is written to and after the word to always comes the first form of the verb okay without any s or es so after two you cannot use you know a verb with s or es it always have to be used as the simple form of the verb of the word that is so and moreover you could also read the sentence if you would uh, read it like that the serotonin level of xtc users takes a long time to returns to normal it seems like there is some kind of mistake in that so you could also like read the whole sentence uh, this thing you should do you know you should be very careful with grammar and tenses whenever you are attempting the reading passages so the answer would be the serotonin level of xtc users takes a long time to return to normal it seems correct yes the next question one of the positive effects of taking XTC is that it can free the personality uh, 
or you could write it can liberate some users or you could write it can remove one's defenses. Now the location it's here. To be fair to those who claim that XTC frees the personality. So some people claim that XTC frees the personality. How it frees the personality? By removing one's defenses against psychological attack. It is true that the drug can be liberating for some users. So they are saying yes. Uh, they are saying it is positive, you know, affirmatively they are saying that the drug can be liberating for some users, which means that the drug can liberate some users. How? By freeing their personality. How? By removing one's defenses against psychological attacks. So the drug also have some positive effects. Sorry about that. Okay, now, so here also it's the same thing. Here it is written freeze the personality, but in the answer we are writing free the personality. Here it is written removing one's defenses, but in the answer we are writing remove one's defenses. Here it is written liberating for some users uh, that we cannot write. Uh, this you should know because the word limit is no more than three words. But here we are not writing liberating some users, we are writing liberate some users. So why we are using free personnel, uh, sorry, free instead of freeze, liberate instead of liberating, remove instead of removing, it's the same reason. Actually not same, but it's a similar reason. Here it is written can and can is a modal. Modals are like words, you know, like can, could, would, should, shall, will. So these are all modals. And if you know the grammar rules, after modals, always the verb's first form is used without any S or ES or without any ING. No, only the verb's simplest form is used, you know, the word exactly as that is. So that is why we have written that one of the positive effects of taking XTC is that it can free the personality or we could state that one of the positive effects of taking XTC is that it can liberate some users or one of the positive effects of taking XTC is that it can remove one's defenses. Mm -hmm. And by reading the sentences, it also uh, seems like, yeah, it is correct instead of when we would write freeze or we would write liberating or we would write removing. So you should read these sentences, you know, that whether it seems grammatically correct or not. Okay, now the last question. XTC produces no withdrawal sim symptoms even though it is addictive. So we know that XTC is addictive but still it does not produce any withdrawal symptoms. So the answer is in the last paragraph. Mm. In the second line of the last paragraph, they were saying that XTC, it is undoubtedly an addictive substance. So XTC is addictive and yet unlike the classic addictive drugs, heroin, opium, morphine and so on, XTC does not produce physical withdrawal symptoms, which means uh, even though the XTC is addictive, but still like other addictive drugs, heroin, opium, morphine, which produce withdrawal symptoms, XTC does not produce any physical withdrawal symptoms. So the answer will come addictive. XTC produces no withdrawal symptoms even though it is addictive. So I hope that you would have understood how all these answers came. Still, if you have any doubt, you can just ask me in the comment section. I would, you know, love to respond to your questions and doubts. So that's for today, I think. Bye-bye.